Danish progressive rock band Isbjörg have dropped their third single from an upcoming album to be released in 2024. This one's called Homeward Bound and I've been heavily anticipating another release from them. I have one video about them on the channel reacting to their two singles so far from this year and the most surprising thing from that video besides their incredible instrumentation and musicality was the fact that their fan base is so small. I'd never heard of them until that video and at the time they had about 40 monthly listeners on Spotify and now they're up to 100 but still should have hundreds of thousands of monthly listeners at least. They're an incredibly tight group of musicians, very piano oriented. There are lots of little details with the guitar, but I wouldn't say it's guitar heavy. It's very melodic, very beautiful and uplifting, hopeful, which is something that I've been looking for a lot within this genre of music recently. Two very different singles so far, and I couldn't tell you where they're gonna go from here, so I wanna check it out right now. This is Homeward Bound by Isbjörg. Very fast paced already. I was saying it's not guitar oriented. Already reminded me a little bit of Agent Fresco's first album. Muted power chords are so nice. All we've ever known is to be overburdened. How? But if that's what's preferred, then I wait as grass. Incredible drumming. Darker. That's that Agent Fresco right there. Beautiful hook. Such a smooth voice, perfect progressive voice. And it does feel like it carries a sense of hope. Remember, if we draw the curtains, we can't even hide in the dark. Leaving it's bouncy and it kind of falls off and hangs off and kind of delays the downbeat on certain areas. Super nice. The drumming is really standing out in this track more than any of the others I've heard from. Them. A lot of places so far. There's the piano. Building up that hopeful feeling. Background harmonies. Puts a smile on my face.
three for three so far with the singles for this band on this upcoming album and with more than half of the year remaining until the album comes out, makes me wonder how many more singles I'll put out and how long the album will be. It's perfectly melodic, complex, progressive rock. It doesn't feel corny, it's constantly switching time. I love how jumpy and active the song was. Amazing odd time signatures, the key it was in was beautiful and bright. Just the way it kept chugging along through the whole song, it felt like it matched the name and it was fitting. The melodies, always top notch. I was talking about how they're mostly piano driven. Slightly less piano in this, slightly more guitar brought into play in the song. And the drumming was absolutely incredible. It was technical, it was tight, and it brought the whole song together even more than it has in the last two songs. A really cool song, one that I'm gonna have to listen to again. There are lots of layers, there's backup vocals, in certain points, lots of little details in all their songs that I'm sure I missed out on. But yeah, lots of moments that reminded me of early age in Fresco, so I'm sure age in Fresco fans would love this band too. And you should definitely check them out. Really cool stuff. I'm really excited for this album, and it just pains me to see this band with such a small following because they deserve so much more. So please check them out if you haven't already. Is Bjork's the real deal?